Hey, Loopline here, and I want to go over the Google Cache Extractor add-on. So if you go to add-ons, if you don't have it installed, go to Show Available Add-ons, and once that menu comes up, you can find the add-on you want, and just click Install Add-on, or you can update that sort of thing if you need to. Once that's done, you go to Add-ons, and then Google Cache Extractor add-on, and once we have this up, we need to bring in some URLs to extract the cache from. So I'm just going to load some from Scrapebox, just the ones I have back here. And then we can set connections. 10 is fine to start for the video here. And then um, just hit start. And we can let it go through here and see some of them have no cache. Some of them do have a cache. It does use proxies. I didn't use proxies for this um, video just because I only am doing 38 sites but if you're doing a lot of sites you would want to use proxies because this is pulling from Google and you will get your IP band. So this shows proxies used. Um, it shows the date and time of the most recent cache right here and then of course the status of completed or no cache that sort of thing. Once it's done we can remove failed not found and we'll see just the ones that are found that have a cache and then we get export options for Excel, CSV, text, etc. and then we can exit. And that is how the Google Cache Extractor works. It's pretty basic, uh, pretty handy for seeing if the pages that you have are cached in Google and when the most recent cache time and date was. And that is how the Cache Extractor works.